Hi everyone, this is Justin from Adobe Analytics. In the last video, we showed you the cool new modal that pops up when you click Create New Project. And in this video, we want to show you how you can create and manage your own custom templates. Just a quick note, only admins are able to create, manage, and delete custom templates. So contact your admin if you're interested in custom templates. So we built this feature in mind to help with training and quick access to dashboards, as well as leveraging existing projects that can be created into templates for further use in other departments or other channels, etc. So let's do, for example, a blank project. And we want to create that into a custom template. You don't have to start off with a blank project. You can also start with existing projects that were in the main landing page. So in this case, I'm going to build a geo visualization real quick. So over here, you'll see that I like this visualization. I think other departments can use it for anything they want. What I'll do is I'll click the project button on the top left, click Save as Template, or Alt-T for shortcut, and rename this to whatever I want it to be. And then I also want to add tags for a quick access and quick finding later on in the future. So once I'm ready to create this into a, a custom template, I'll just click Save Project as Custom Templates. What will happen now is if I go back to the Workspace main page and click Create New Project, you'll see in the Custom Templates tab that my Geo Custom Template is there already. Now if I want to make any changes or say I missed something, I can click on that custom template and then click the Edit Template button on the left hand side. This will be, bring me back to my project and I can make any edits I want. If I want to drag in a new visualization and save that as well, I could. In this case, let's just say I want to build a new table. I'm happy with this. What I can do is either click Command S or Save. And it'll ask me if I want to rewrite over the existing custom template, which I can, or save as a brand new custom template. In this case, I just want to make an edit to that custom template we just created earlier. So I'll click Save. So then I go back to Analysis Workspace. I'll go click the Create New Project and go into that modal again. I see that there's still my custom template for Geo right here. What I'll do is I'll open it again, and you'll see that my template was saved with the new table as well as the map that was there originally. And lastly, if I wanted to delete that Geo template and I didn't want to use it anymore, what I could do is I can go to Manage Projects here, and it'll take me to an area where I can manage in bulk, or I can just manage each individual project. You'll see that there's a little icon on the right-hand side that lets you know whether it's a template or not. But you can also find your templates here in the other filters on the bottom left. Here I'll, I'll see that all my templates are um, located here, and I don't want to basically have this Geo custom template anymore, so what I'll do is I'll delete it. And if I go back to my modal area, you'll see that in the custom templates, it's removed from that tab. That's pretty much it. Uh, you don't have to always go to this link here for managing your projects. You can also go into components and projects to also get to that manage projects area. We hope that you enjoyed this and that you could use this for many more other use cases in the future, whether it's uh, you know, training or getting people up to speed, or whether it's sharing your dashboard to other mobile apps that you've been building, um, or other departments that you're sharing your dashboards to. Uh, we hope this custom template area will be, you know, a great value for you and your company in the future. Thanks.